So the big question now is how are you gonna connect from your computer anywhere in the world? So you need a router that is capable of port forwarding and you need an account of dndns.com. Well, you just go here to this website. Actually, I uh, already have that. You just press enter and it will lead you to your dndns.com. Well, just create an account here. Uh, create account. And since I already have my own account here, I'll just type it here. What is a port forwarder or what are remote or what are home servers? Okay, well, let's go back to our checklist and router with port forwarding. Okay, let's just explain all this one. Back to our diagram. Okay, what we will do if they say port forward is that f because in your local network your computers are um, practically protected by your router this is a firewall actually a router is a firewall okay so it's kind of like a wall like that okay so what we're going to do is that from this one from this all of these things okay we going to uh, move them over to here okay uh, yeah and whatever you have okay for your port forward it means that this computer right here okay we put them put it here that's what it means port forward so maybe this computer is a surveillance camera or maybe this computer is a server that is an apache or web server um, whatever you have you port forward them here however you cannot port forward because our ISPs normally just assigns us one static IP address now what is that a static IP address means that f from your router from your modem you, te you basically have one telephone number okay for example it's 113.116.8.1 I don't know but this is what the IP the internet we pay them so that they will provide us a service of a telephone number but this is not yours okay it changes sometimes it's given to another person sometimes given to another computer so that's what we need the uh, DIN DNS for okay so if for example we have another one here I'm just making this up okay DIN DNS is a service that will allow you to use dynamic port forwarding dynamic IP addresses okay for example this is the DIN DNS oh I just put DIN DNS DIN DNS is going to check first so your client is right here it's going to connect to DIN DNS okay and when you go connect to DIN DNS it will go to your service provider and check what IP you are using but since we cannot pay for a static IP address it's very expensive DIN DNS will do all these things for you it will figure out what is your I current IP address even though if it's changing remember I told you that you're just borrowing so it can change anytime so when you connect to DIN DNS it's going to internet and it's going to to see what telephone number or IP address you have that's my analogy and then it will go back to your router at this point but if you already have this one here or a port
port forward what it's what they say it means that you can connect to that computer serving all the ports that you opened okay so I hope that was very clear now that you've successfully logged into dindines.com we you're now ready to add accounts so you go to services after you go to services it will direct you to your um, services and then you will need to add a host name over here if you add a host name if you click this one this is what I'm talking to you about that it will give you a host name that you can specify anything here anything and then then DNS will use this one so that people will remember it and then it will connect to your ISP and then it will give you the static IP because if you have a dynamic IP you won't have a permanent IP address the question is how can someone contact you if your phone number is always changing so then DNS will automatically inform people who are contacting you that this is your number now this is your number now etc etc and then you put your IP address in the bottom right here and after that one you now go down and you add to cart alright you've successfully installed your DIN DNS account and you should go to your router and then add that 